has the thought of downloading a website ever crossed your mind? If so, then here is the simplest way to get that done. What's up guys, my name is Michael Amo and welcome once again to Handflow. The thought of downloading a website might seem unlogical to most people, especially to those who may be at locations where internet connectivity may be cheap. But to those of us at locations where internet connectivity is a little bit expensive and unreliable, downloading websites and using them offline is the best way to go. So in this video, I'm going to show you times where downloading a website and using it offline may be advantageous. So if you wouldn't want to listen to this part, you can skip to this time. But to those of you who would want to know why downloading a website and using it offline might be advantageous, then this is the reason why. Sometimes you may want to do a research on a particular topic and maybe every content on that topic is on a particular website. So instead of always connecting to the internet and always accessing the files from there, what you can do is download the website onto your PC and then whenever you want to access these files, you can easily access the files without having to connect to the internet. I, for instance, I am undertaking an online course on the internet i'm actually using w3 schools and um, to actually learn how to code in javascript so what i do is instead of always accessing the internet to open this platform on on the website i have actually downloaded everything on the website onto my pc after downloading it i have bookmarked it onto my web browser so once i open or click on the item on my web browser i'm able to access every file on the page it's as if i am actually using the internet but in this case i'm using the file that i have already downloaded onto my pc so without wasting much time let's get right into it if you are enjoying this video a sub to the channel will be absolutely stupendous and i would really appreciate that and also leave your thoughts in the comment section below for the mac users i'm going to use an app called site Saka. Whilst for the Windows users, I'm going to use an app called HTTrack Website Copier. So for the Mac users, this is how it's done. And now for the Windows users, this is how it's done. Thank you guys for watching, see you guys in the next video.